Hey guys, CM here. <laughs> okay, so I usually don't advocate buying um, knockoffs, but um, I saw this on eBay and I was thinking, okay, so eBay is selling switchblades now. Hmm. And for 46 bucks, I think it was, I was like, ah, fuck it. You know? So uh, presenting the Micro Chink LUDT. Does it even have... I haven't even opened this thing yet. It literally just came today. So I'm doing an actual unboxing video. So what do we got on the outside? Welcome to the Microtech family. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 20 years, Microtech has been working to build a long-standing tradition of innovation and quality with each knife. Only. Yeah, fuck it. You can read it if you want. You know, pause the screen or whatever. <laughs> this is too rich. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so from the side, made in the USA, <laughs> 110%. Okay, let's see what we got on the insides. So this is obviously not the same quality of a Microtech production box, but we got a nice little manual. So let's see what this says. Product manual. Note the font here, you know, it's, it's a little thin, yeah here too it's just thin product registration warranty information mm -hmm. okay so what else do we got uh-huh okay you know not a bad knockoff but you know I've seen uh, I've seen better now let's see the knife Okay, so right away, look at the, the little lanyard cord. It's thin, you know, it's, it's kind of reminds me of, um, they, they did all right, you know, as far as trying to match the old school, like Vero Beach Day's uh, lanyard cord. Okay, so we got Microtech lasered on the clip. We got the right tri-wing fasteners, okay. Not bad, actually, for snap, not bad at all. So uh, it says LMAX. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but lately the Chinaman's been up in their game, so it, it, it very well may, may be. Okay, so all of you guys out there that encounter a, uh, a uh, shady-looking LUDT, note the serial number, 03068 out of April 2017. All right? Okay. So let's take some measurements here. Sharpened length is three and three, uh, or no, three and a quarter, three and three sixteenths, somewhere about there. Blade length to the um, tip of scale, we got three and five, uh, no, three eighths, that's accurate. And uh, total length is almost eight inches, yeah. The dimensions are true. Blade thickness looks right as well. Now, the quality of the anodizing is is what you know gives it away right off the bat mm-hmm but the spring tension is proper doesn't really have the authoritative click on the reset and uh, the stop pin isn't ribbed but yeah it's got good snap good weight good edge not bad for uh, under 50 bucks be a cool little beater Okay, so you can close it easily with one hand. You got good action. Let's check for blade play. Wiggle, you know. No wiggle. Wow, this is fucking stout. I'm impressed. Okay, so how much does it weigh? That's the last part of the thing, right? Hey, it's not in fancy approved. Just under three and a half ounces. Okay, so, you know, not bad for under 50 bucks. Now, that was including shipping. Thank you, eBay, for uh, deciding to sell uh, switchblades, although they're counterfeit, but whatever. Sweet little knife.
I don't know. You guys be the judge. Would you buy something like this? I would consider this thing uh, disposable. Yeah. All right. Well, as always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua. God bless. Later. <laughs> Not bad.